lots of friends. All the friends and all the kids in my classroom, they're my friends. I made my first friends in ISB in the first five minutes of being there. <laughs> That's my impression of ISB, is how it's very warm. Really a very inviting environment. Turn it up. Singing lots of songs. That's one of my favorite things. Three, one. The best thing about ISB is that the opportunities that the teachers allow us. Um, my classes are very small class. I had about seven people last year. And because of this, I, the teachers are allowed to interact with us on a personal level. They just surprise me every day. They're so motivated. They're so creative. They understand the concepts I'm driving at. And um, it's just so lovely. I, I, I can't wait to get here. I really got to know my teachers while I was here. And, They've become more of mentors. She turned five and went to kindergarten. Most of all, she hoped to read. Each day, she saw the kids in first grade across from the hall reading. I like to go to the library because there are a lot of books, and I love to read them. Parents come in and volunteer during reading workshop and do a lot of one-to-one -one reading. I have a best friend. For parents to come in and see is, is the best education for their kids as well because parents know how to support them at home. I never get tired of borrowing books and reading them because they're all good. It's a very well resourced school. Uh, we have um, a large variety of books that, that the kids use but also in, in the sciences especially we have class sets of things. The kids have to try to figure things out and hopefully learn by getting themselves engaged. That, in that whole process of, of doing. Everybody's here! Oh. The playground, it's very, very fun because the two playgrounds, the big one has a fast slide and I like climbing on the ropes. And that one is also fun because they have scooters which are fast and you get to play in the sand a lot with shovels and stuff. We found dinosaur bones. We've got access to incredible resources here in terms of technology. We have a smart board in every classroom. We've got document cameras and flip cameras and iPads and everything else that we could possibly ask for. And one-to-one -one laptops in elementary school for all of our kids. It's really fun here because everyone knows someone in some country. And you hear people speaking all these different languages. And I think it really enriched my education to be around people that have totally different opinions and totally different value systems. Chinese has about 5,000 years of culture. We really need to enrich our students, that they will take away things that they wouldn't learn anywhere else in the world. China Link Office is to help children to learn about their host country. And the kind of ways that we do it in our performing arts classrooms, um, in the theatre classroom, we have a lot of people that come in and learn um, elements of Chinese opera. They'll maybe learn uh, makeup and costumes and some of the, the actual movements that, that signify so much in, in, in Beijing opera, we'll do that. We played something with strings and we had to like put something attached to it, our thumbs and stuff. But I do like you. Crosstalk is basically a comedy routine where you try to express your mastery of the Chinese language. So it's really funny for the audience and it shows how well you speak Chinese. The sports facilities are really nice. <laughs> I'm on the tennis team. 
And I had to play the 15th, the, like ranked 15th from Sweden in the, his age group. And I lost. Six to one. One, two, three, two. two. The basketball team did really well. We, uh, we have two major tournaments every year. First one is China Cup. We won that. And then we went to our, uh, our final tournament. We're part of the APAC conference, so it's the APAC tournament, and we got second there. We just had this, this new field put in, replacing the old grass fields, which ended up being just bare dirt by the end of the winter. But uh, this will this will mean we can play Aussie rules and be pretty happy with the surface for, for the, the colder months. That's the goal. There's a swimming pool and the baseball diamond, and as well as. Um, orchestra and band, and then I'm in the high school orchestra playing cello. Everything I want is here, basically. I have all the opportunities I want, and I think I'd be missing out if I went to any other school. And it's so nice because when you step into the performing arts department, you're just surrounded by such wonderful sounds, you know, and you see so much talent that's there. Mm -hmm. And then you go onto the sports field. On any given Saturday, you come into school, you have three, four, five things happening simultaneously in the school. There's always a buzz. Same idea again. <clears throat> In jazz band, I bring in local musicians from our band to um, be in workshops with the kids. So about once every three months, I'll bring in the whole band and we'll do sectionals and play for the students and work with them. The teachers are very involved in the extracurricular activities, leading a lot of them. And I so liked that they knew my child in the classroom and also outside of the classroom. So when I speak to the teacher, they know my child as a whole person and not just, hey, you didn't do too good on the chemistry exam, but you know, you were great at the jazz concert on Saturday night. personal excellence. At the same time, it's really a rewarding school to be put in the work because you will be prepared for college, you will be prepared for life in general, and you'll make everlasting friends. But we have a lot of high performing students, but we also have a lot of support for students. And if you struggle a little bit here, you don't get lost. Somebody steps in and, and, and takes care of you, whether you want it or not, and it's a good thing for our kids. Our teachers encourage a sort of independence and um, self-determination sort of thing in us. And so when I went to university, I was already prepared to work on my own. I was already prepared to be motivated. And I think that's been a great help. I think people in their own countries, they don't realize how amazing it is to go live in another country because it's really enriching. And there's a lot of moments that my peers in the States aren't going to have ever in their lives. Um, next year, I'm attending Oberlin College in Ohio. Um, I, I chose Oberlin because they have a large international student program, and I really wanted to remain connected to Beijing and with students that aren't just from the United States. Uh, I'm going to Pittsburgh, Carnegie Mellon University, which is a good university with, uh, with a music college, so I think I'm going to keep doing musical things there as well. <laughs> What I like about the school is the way it focuses on raising the whole child.
and that everything that we do with regards to the building, to our practices, are really centered on the child. Really, really long. And what more can we want than uh, having our children being the center of the school? <laughs>